She hasn't even heard the question yet. She's already. Uh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that. There are two major holidays, two major holidays in fall. Which holiday is your favorite? That happens in the fall period. It doesn't have to be one of the main ones. Besides Halloween. Correction on my previous speech. When I had my mind work, I said we went to Cape Cod, we went to Salem, Massachusetts. That's why witchcraft and all of these things were important. So, holiday in um, actually, it would be my wedding anniversary. I uh, met my husband. About a year and a half after we got, we met, we got married, and when we decided on the day, I decided to give him the nicest thing I had to give him, me. So our wedding anniversary was October 15th. My husband comes from a family that lives to be quite old. His mother died in her middle 90s. His aunts and uncles lived up to be 100. And although he was 10 years older than I, I expected that he would live well into his 90s. And so I anticipated a wonderful 50th wedding anniversary. Well, regretfully, my husband passed away the day after Christmas in 2007. And I'm really pissed at him for spoiling my 50th wedding anniversary because I really wanted us to celebrate that moment. But every year that October 15th comes by, uh, I think of him, not that I don't think of him all year, but I think of the lovely occasion that we had, the 25th anniversary celebration that we had. And without being more, more I have to say, I think of the beautiful way he left this world because he'd been in and out of the hospital for a long time. I had a friend who had a friend who was a Native American flute player. And she said, Pat, would you like me to have David come play for you at your house and Bob? And I said, sure. So David came to play, and he looked at Bob, who was surrounded by me and his sister and his brother and our two little dogs, and said, now, Pat, in our culture, people are at the beginning of life or the end of life. There's a certain song that we play. May I play it? And I said, yes. And he did. I went into the kitchen to fix dinner. And my sister-in-law came in and said, Pat, he's gone. But it wasn't sad, because I have the memory that the last thing my husband ever heard while he was still in this world was that beautiful flute music. So October 15th, his birthday, our anniversary, lovely relationship. <laughs> <laughs>